so making our way through another well overgrown area getting cut to shreds again and stung we finally uh, reached the uh, chateau hello explorers and welcome back to a brand new video so if you're new to the channel hit that like and subscribe it means the absolute world to me and costs absolutely nothing so now on this journey i'm going to take you inside one of the most iconic chateaus i've ever explored and the reason i say this is because the napoleon himself owned this chateau for a very short time stayed here now the napoleon led the napoleonic wars were a series of major global conflicts pitting the French Empire and its allies, led, as I said, by the Napoleon himself. And the crazy thing that I keep thinking about is the fact that I walked the same chateau, same corridors as he did himself. This clip here, you see that I go deep inside the vault underneath the chateau. Now after telling people that I went in there and explored, there was an old guy that lives at the bottom of the driveway told me that in the 60s, there was a guy here that went completely missing and police searched the building and never found him. Some say he was murdered and he's buried in the walls of the chateau because the locals said his exact words were, did you hear a ghost inside? Because of the missing man. Anyway, guys and girls, love you loads, enjoy the video, and let's go back in time. Dude, I cannot believe we're visiting the most famous French guy's spot. I think this is going to be a big video. Yeah, they're here. Is he here? Yeah. Dude, I'm thinking they should send some gardeners here. So we're heading to one of one of many famous chateaus in France. This one, the Napoleon, the basic one to take over the whole of Europe. Making our way through another well overgrown area, getting cut to shreds again and stung. We finally uh, reached the uh, chateau. Look at this guys. With 38 degrees heat today. It's going to be a tough. I mean they reckon it's going to rise up to 40 degrees today so She's gonna be a hot one. Guys, look at the size of this place. So there is actually true facts that this place, the Napoleon himself, actually st stayed in this chateau. Completely now taken over by nature. And this is quite a sad story really because these places have got so much history very famous person, people stayed. And now they're left like this, completely overgrown and taken by nature. So you think the guy that stayed here was a massive threat to Europe? You know, even, but I'm from the UK, there's so many, uh, there's so many um, buildings protecting the stems all the way up from the Nap Napoleonic War. Soil explorers, we've turned up today at another chateau in France. Now this isn't just any old chateau. This was actually the actual, there was proof documented in this place that the Napoleon lived here himself. So now this guy was when the French Revolution was going on under King Louis the 17th. This, he was basically a successor. So he was below the king. He led the French army to a threat of him basically take over Europe. But the history of this walls hold in this building is incredible and I literally cannot wait to get inside. So come on guys, 
Let's go straight through the front door in this place. Let's check it out. As you can see, the ground's completely overgrown, but obviously all the land to this place would have been for this like chateau itself, which means castle or mansion, I believe. So we know this place, and it's a shame really that the French have let such a gorgeous building go to shame because as you're going to be shocked when you come in here and see the amount of decay and the amount of vandalism that's happened here. Like the ceilings have literally come down as a massive lump of timber here that's come flying down from the roof. So do you believe this guy that was so powerful was no, no taller than about five foot three? You're just straight down there into the basement. You can see the remains of civilization that once was in here. The beds still covered. The wardrobes just sat here. But again, the beautiful French furniture is just completely rotted away. And the light just barely sits, hangs on the ceiling still. The little writing desk. Did you think this guy completed so much work in such short time. He was born in 15th of August 1769 and he died age 51, 5th of May 1821. And he's buried in Paris. So I'm not sure if this was like a retreat home or where he came, but there's definitely evidence that he lived within these walls. And you can imagine how beautiful this home would have been with some of the original features still around the tops of the walls. The beautiful block work. The doors still hang proud, sitting, which would have taken you out to the back garden. This chateau needs saving. Look at all the stone block flooring. And it looks like at some point they was, they're trying to save it or trying to do something with it because there's like new bits of timber up to hold the ceilings up. You see the wardrobe's just falling forward, collapsed. And it's still closed but inside here. So I'm not sure about the former owners of this place. I'm going to try and dig into some more history in a minute and try and find out exactly what, who lived here last, why they left it like in such despair. Look at the fireplace. And it's not just that, everything's finished so well. This probably would have been all gold leafed up and it's gone off colour over the years. The thick wallpaper, the curtains still hanging there, the drapes over the tops. The radiator is barely holding on the wall. It's another dining area. Look at this. Imagine cleaning this rug up. The colours, the vibrant colours that would have come back. The chair is just literally falling over. pictures here of a lady, I don't know if maybe a former resident of the home. This is cool. find this would have been an old yeah an old record player I'm guessing that's the sound of music because that's the dog and the record player En Un Barco
So I was trying to visualise with the music playing here, you know, the fire roaring, everyone's sitting around the table. The family's in here having their chat, maybe playing games. The light that would have bared the ceiling now has fallen or been taken. You can because these places were full of rich furniture. So another grand room. It's probably been like an entertainment room, kind of living room. You can see the ceiling's just completely all over the floor. So any minute this whole lot could probably just fall down, but you can see like parts of the old plaster there of the ceiling. The curtain's just barely hanging up. I mean, look how incredible that is. It's taking the top of the fireplace completely off. Loving these type of sleigh kind of chairs. Look at that, and the mirror still sits proudly in the top of the fireplace. So much history here falling down. And this wasn't the first castle, believe it or not, built on this ground. The first part, castle actually dates back to the 1400s. So you think the, the amount of history that took place on the ground that we're standing on. It's absolutely amazing. The former castle and its ruins were last then sold in 1605 to the lieutenant of Kingan City. So not only this place, the original castle we're in, the castle that sat here before, as I said, on the grounds, was very famous as well. That's why I said it's not about the state of the place and how it is as well, it's the history within these walls that we're finally walking around. So not only has there been two castles, it's actually been proven that three times both castles have been a ruin, pretty much in a mess. But it is the upkeep of these places. So when the, far, the last sort of family that dated back to the 1700s who bought this place, in February 20, 1761, who inherited his mother's property, he retired to the lands in 1763 and decided to build a new castle above the foundations of the old one. The revolution stopped the works. After his death of 1795... So yeah, he's, after he inherited his grounds and decided to move here, when all the wars broke out, the revolution, the war, the works here stopped. And then after his death, in 1795, his son did not continue the work either. So it's a shame, really. You can see that the four poster beds here are incredible. That was just the remaining parts of them. So they've been like twin children in a two children's room. And the, the chandelier type light barely hanging up. But it's crazy as you walk around here you see just like books sitting around still and a chair that still went with this t the desk. It's absolutely amazing. But that's what I'm saying, it is, it's just walking around these places as well, like feeling how the families lived here. It's all wood. It looked like a marbly type effect. The music notes here. It's absolutely beautiful. Even though it's so decayed, it's natural. So just the families that date back, it's crazy. And it's a shame that his son didn't feel his dad's legacy of building this place. The two, I'm going to say a lot more history on this place as well. So then the castle again was sold in 1834. And the first restoration of the castle fully took place, which lasted until 1891. A second is, it started after 1918, the building was listed as Monument Crazy. Which I think it's... It's basically like in UK, we have grade one and grade two listed. So like a grade one, you um, physically can't touch the interior and exterior without any kind of permission. Uh, 
So if there's re original sort of panel work, we can. You, you're not allowed to take it. You're not allowed to change the windows. If it's grade two listed, you're allowed to touch the insides, but you're not allowed to change the outside too much. So it still has to kind of look the same. These beds, absolutely amazing. Which makes me wonder as well where, what room the Napoleon stayed on. You know, could he have looked out this window when he woke in the morning? But look at this. And it's a shame because these ceilings will all eventually come down and claim all this furniture. I mean, you can see already it's, it's so broken. Wow. It's so beautiful. It's basically like a program of maybe something that took place, like what they're going to be doing. A bit like when you go to the theatre and you get things like uh, you, what you're going to be doing that day in the events. There's an old photograph here. So there's an old school desk or typewriting desk with the ink wells to there. Parts of an old photo album that contains no photos. Unless someone's taken them. A little hidden sink. The floorings are so bad. It's a bathtub. Oh shit, man. You scared this life out of here. Fuck. That actually really made me jump. That was worse than the other day. Uh, the basement, jump. Because <laughs> that sent right up me back. <laughs> Collapsed completely. The floorings. This place needs full restoration. I mean, to be fair, it could all ripped out. So all over here looks like. Like holiday snaps. The souvenir Napoleon. It's like an exterior little party room, like a man cave. The <laughs> speaker's still sat there. The Mexican hat, a bottle of wine. <laughs> this is probably about the cleanest room in the place. It's crazy. Looks like they were already trying to stop leaks at some point. The old VCR sat there. What was the last videotape this took? To another staircase. Whoa. 
is not good. Some like evil dead stuff there, like an old hatch under the floor. And the flooring's just... <laughs> Literally just as I said about the flooring. Wow, <laughs> this is rotten. Oh, it's so bad. You can see out the side there. All the flooring's gone. Wow, look at the old timber beams they've used. It's just absolutely incredible. It's so decayed. I can't believe I nearly went through this either. Photos. Try and look at some of these with that. All memories. The old cast iron fireplace. This stuff here is probably riddled in asbestos. civil so many documents just chucked everywhere another little staircase that goes up to part of the barn Right, so I don't know how true this is, but I don't know how obviously how true this is, but me saying this. So the original castle dates back into the 1400, 1400s. Of course there'd be wine in the cellar. And it was a, the new castle was built on the original foundations. So where we're probably standing now, this a lot of this probably dates back to the 1400s. This whole block work and see better down there what's from here wow guys check this safe out I don't know what's behind there damn it looks like people are trying to get it with keys and stuff look at these old keys it's amazing Look at the blades on those. What was that sound there? All gold. Oh, I thought it meant like the metal was gold. And I was going to say, what, for a key? Just looking at the blades in there. It's impressive. You don't realise how big these are under here when you go underneath. It just keeps going as going as well. It's like a prison cell type door. I mean, would they have kept prisoners down here years ago? This 
seriously, look at those. I don't know if these were like for wine and stuff. This one's still locked. There's quite a fresh lock on there as well. It's incredible though, isn't it? Look at all the old timbers, what thousands of pounds there of old wood. Oh, look at that, where they'd put it on there and they'd saw for it, the old saw blocks. And this here looks like an old style winch. Yeah, look. That's so cool, isn't it? <laughs> I keep saying the same words, but guys, it is so cool. It's another huge wood store. Oh my God. Sorry for using the Lord's name, but all this timber, absolutely gorgeous. I'd imagine that there is thousands of pounds of timber in here. Just sitting here, right away. Some of these original doors. I know what this would have been used for, guys. If you know what this is, please let me know. I've seen it here a couple of times. This fireplace is incredible. Look at this. So I'd imagine probably back in the day, this probably would have been like where the servants would have got all the food together. It's so cool, you see some of the old pots still here and the pans, the old hook hanging down still from the fireplace. And look at the backing plate there of the fire. There's a guy on like a horseback. Probably some of the old like tools or that could have been, I think that's like a tap system. I cannot get over the size of this place. Look. I'm guessing they like produce their own wine. This store is incredible as well. Full of woodworm. Ah, so this was locked. Imagine how much expensive wine would have been in this place. Look at that. This bit here is locked. A locked cage. Maybe the really expensive stuff. I mean, some of that's still corked. Gotta admit guys, that door is incredible. Imagine trying to carry that nowadays. The old step ladder. Ladder. Looks like an old pool ladder. See, accidents do happen, guys. He fell. Guarantee that section up there probably goes on and on and on. So I don't know what they are. Would have been two lights or something. It's a bolted to the ground. And the old garden furniture. Would be nice now to take those, restore them all fresh, like painted white, and put a nice lantern on top. So this document here, Seth. Um... Dude, so I came in here. I'm looking at all this stuff. I'm like, oh, this is cool. And then I look over here and I see Souvenir Napoleon. And I'm like, what? So I Google translated it. And it turns out that this is a document from the Historic Society detailing like, oh, thank you for purchasing this property. 
you know, oh, wow. and they were quoting Napoleon and stuff like that in in the newspaper or whatever. So that's so this is a document proof, basically. Yeah. That it made the newspaper that the people bought this place. Yeah. So that's I mean, incredible. No one just gets handed a, a Napoleonic souvenir from the historic society. You know what it's I mean? a shame, really, that it's gonna. That it's just been left behind. Yeah. Manage, manage to put it away, maybe. Yeah, because I don't want anybody to like rip it up or steal it. Like, if, if they really want to find it, then they'll find it. That is really cool. So you want to try and visualise as well the amount of furniture and the stuff that would have been filled this room. Antiques and now it's just, I mean, there's parts of an old rug here. Probably an old Persian, Persian rug, just literally decaying away. You can see some of the old colours in it as well still. So we're back round here, we're going to head down this side of the house. Into uh, obviously another kitchen area. And you can see standing here as well, that ceiling up there is just bowing, waiting to come down. The big old fire again. Table and chairs sat here. I think these are like grandmother clocks. I see one yesterday, but obviously all the goblins have been taken out. And wow, look. There's little wine bits here and these little cubby holes. This is part of a menu here. So maybe at one point this was taken into like a guest hotel or something. A long time ago. You see the little old car sitting up in the fireplace there. And just one random little sock sitting on the clothes dryer. like so much stuff just thrown everywhere. You can imagine how beautiful these lights are and I believe because that's got like a little um, pulley system on it you used to be able to raise these lights up and down so obviously if you was having a table lit, uh, dinner you'd bring the light closer to the table if you want to light the room up you'd bring it up and light the room up. It just shows you how old this, this old table is. The old drawers on the side. I mean, how many people would love to have that in their old cottage house or big farm conversion, barn conversion? A lot of the cutlery still sat here. So that's living proof that we found documents. I can't believe that. The newspaper we found, Seth translated it. And uh, yeah, I've got all the guys now on to translate it. <laughs> I got the app uh, years ago when I first visited France, and it's a very good app. Just put it on a document to kind of tell you. But yeah, it made the newspaper that the family that last bought this, I think it was back in the 60s, uh, was saying congratulations, like this, this house holds a lot of history, that then Napoleon actually lived here. It was proof. How things were so cool, like you bring up the little cup. I don't know what them cup glasses were for. Now it's just a complete ghost house. Nothing left. No civilization, no life. This castle's sitting here as well, just waiting for that person to come along, buy it, and bring it back to its former glory. And what beautiful home you would have. So maybe one day my dream would come true. I could maybe restore a house in England or France. Staircase. This is falling as I'm walking up it nearly. Okay. It's another like area where they would store stuff. And that's what I mean when I see a couple of the old irons there. Just bits and pieces and stuff in boxes. But looking back down at the kitchen area. It's just so nice to see the lights and like, the original features still in this building. I wonder what something like this would cost to buy. I 
That was remains of two old beds, headboards there. So we do know of some places in France that were sold as little as one euro. And that was for the fact that it's now not the state's or the government's responsibility, it's now the new people's responsibility to basically bring them back up to former glory. I mean, this is this, all memories here, look. Maxwell was like a whole videotape. There's French letters dating to 1959. Got to read these all. There's some old handwritten type notes as well. When you wish you could read French. So it's another little bedroom slash kind of office. Oh wow, look at the old, uh, the, the old wallpaper as well. Right, let's head. Loving these doors as well. All through this place. Okay, so that door in that room was basically straight onto an ensuite. It's probably the cleanest room in the house. There's bits of the remainder of a cannon there as well. Perfume still sat on the side. You can see that, the painting's still here. Loving this bright yellow type wallpaper. And the book stand's still here. Loads of books there as part of an old teddy bear or something in there. Le Historie de France. It's an old picture here of someone as well. I think they'd have trouble burning that log. This cannon, guys. We did it. Oh, the eagle up there on top of there. Another little bedroom. The mirror just barely hanging there. You can see all the backings come off the mirror. That's just how old it is. There's a picture of a child stood on the wall. A little French girl. And the shitty, oh wow. How old is this guy sat next to the bed? Maybe the little girl's sheep, you never know. I'm gonna put in there if it's okay. This is another program here as well. Are we good? more comfortable there than laying on your side so there's still a key there sat in the door completely rusted in wow guys see the old lampshade that's falling off the ceiling There's a picture there of a little boy. You can see the bed literally just barely holding up. Every room so decayed, so trashed but still holds a kind of a character feeling about it. That's the old French wood stall. Wow, 
Okay, so you remember I was down in the basement, Dan's been down there just now and found out that someone's actually dug over the top of the safe. There's me saying they all tried their hard luck with all the keys on the floor and That's stuff. That's all right. <laughs> someone's actually gone to the time and actually dig over the top, so we're going to head down and have a look. Oh, here's my cell phone, mate. I actually thought it was a secret door then coming back out from this room here. So we're going to head down and we're going to find out. Did someone try and steal Napoleon's treasure? <laughs> this is real Tomb Raider stuff. I can't even find where the basement was. Do you think someone maybe came and tried and stole his treasure? Oh, there's crates. I see this ladder as well, but I didn't crates. think about that. We definitely crates of gold? I don't know, I'm going in. We definitely just found oh. some Napoleonic treasure. Right, we're all going in. I'm wearing a white t-shirt, but I look uh... I'm going in. <laughs> Fit. He's going in head first. I'm in, bro. Yo, I don't, I don't even care. Dude. I'm going in. He looks like one of the elves. He's sticking a tree with the legs sticking out. Dude, yeah, look at him. Dude, you look like you're going down the Goonies slide. He's disappearing. You're, yeah, you're heading out to one eye, really. Goonies, like damn fun. Right. It's full of crates, dude. This is where guns were hiding, I think. It's all crates with hay. But dude, it's scary because when you're in, you can't get down. So years ago, they probably hired with the gunpowder and treasures and stuff. Do you think I might be able to climb in and out? I'm not. I'm gonna turn around and get out because once you're up here, I mean, you're kind of stuck because the drop is so big. You won't be able to come back out. All right. Well, listen, look, the vault door's there. Oh my God! Look at this. Yeah, they've been trying some really old keys, trying to get in in here. Oh. Yeah, people were really trying to get in here. Now, guys, we're not. We're only trying to get in so that we can document. We're not trying to steal anything or anything like that. But, guys, this is so cool. Solid. Look, they even tried to, uh, going into the side like with <laughs> a or something. That's this is freaking. It's scary in there, dude. <laughs> that is the most <laughs> uncharted thing I think I've ever seen. It felt like uncharted. That's probably the closest to being reborn again. It's Sure, this is 600 years of history down there. Se no, seriously, yeah. yeah. It is. Oh, you're going the other way in? Yeah. Oh, man, I didn't fight that way. Watch out, because when you put your knees in the middle of that... It it can see. <sighs> oh, right, I see. This is incredible. So what are you leaning on there? There's furniture. Yeah, it really is incredible. All right, we're going to find out. Fucking oh, shit. What's going on? We're going to find out. I can't believe someone's gone to the extreme to actually dig into. <laughs> we can say it now, Napoleonics and Napoleon's safe. Oh yeah, that is a drop. Yeah, th guys, this is a drop right here, but I, I don't know if I can get down. I can get down, I just don't know if I can get up. But look at the crates and stuff. Oh my god, alright, we're gonna do this. I'm going down. You going down? Yeah. Yeah, I'm here, I'm not gonna fucking... <laughs> I'm going, I don't even care. I'll figure out how I'm going to get up when I get down there. Wow. Yeah, that little... Doesn't they look like proper little treasure chests? Yeah. Yo, bro, if you could actually keep your light right there, that would be such a big help. Yeah, you need his light. You can't see without it there. No, I'll stay here. Five in more, dude. All right. Oh, well, I can't at the moment, because Seth's just here. Yo, what's that? What's that for now when they're stuck? Like, furniture? <laughs> oh, you imagine if we have to call the French police, we're stuck in a safe. Oh, that would suck. You look stuck, all right. Stepmom, stepdad. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's like Angle here, like, I'm in a safe. <laughs> oh, you're safe. No, I'm in a safe. <laughs> so, Dave, what I'm going to need you to do, I'm going to keep my camera up here. Yo, Dave, are you stuck? Not yet. <laughs> I'm going to keep my camera, say, like, right here, bro. Like and then when I get down, I just need you to throw my camera to me. I'm not throwing it to you. Just toss it. I'll, be, I'll catch it. Don't, don't worry about it. Well, how about I'll try and get where you are and pass it down here. <laughs> If you can do that, that would be better, but... I don't want to chuck your camera to you, because you miss it. <laughs> Instead of breaking the I mean, that's a good sort of 10, 15, 12 feet drop. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to have to shimmy down the wall. If you really want the footage, man, you can do this. Is there anything that I can, like, tie this sheet to to maybe, like, wrap all myself We're not even down? joking, guys. It is a literally, a, probably, a, to be fair, that's probably a good 15... 16 feet down. Yeah, guys, no, no joke. If I if I mess up this landing, I'm probably gonna break my ankles. If you get stuck in there, can we carry on with the trip? Yeah, you might as well. <laughs> I don't want to slow you guys down. <laughs> oh, this is perfect. This is fucking perfect. You can't rely on that chain. I, I, I no, <laughs> you can't not. do. <laughs> probably not. All right, here we go. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to shimmy down the wall. Seth, I thought I was crazy, man. 
Yeah, I'm a, I'm a psychopath. But, you know. He's going for it, boys. He was actually about to rely on a plug chain. <laughs> It's not really any going back now, mate. You're already kind of... Yeah, I'm already in. You're not holding that chain, are you? No. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Alright, I'm in the vault. My last French trip, I broke my knee. He take that two six. Just so I can get through this hole. We found him. Well, we found him. Oh, oh, oh shit. Yeah, he's very careful because if that happens, I can't get out of here. You can't get out? Man, if it breaks, I'm falling. Yeah, no one will be trapped. Inside a vault. Yeah. Something I probably never thought would happen. Holy shit. Okay, okay. I knew it. I knew that, was, that the cabinet broke. We're gonna fix it. We're gonna get out of here. Yeah. How they got out? I don't know. I'll figure it out. Figure it out. Figure it out. We're good. We're good. Oh. I'm a survivor. Where's the hoodie? <laughs> really? So guys, we've literally climbed inside the vault. So look, we're on the other side of the door. I thought I could let myself out then, look, the latch Jim, the latch has died. Oh no. Yeah? Yeah, that's just a problem That ain't. Oh, the door's open. We're coming out. We just breached the door. Oh, oh my yeah. God, freaking way. We just safe cracked. No way. Yo! Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Good shit, Dave. Dude, yes. yes! Okay. We're guys, not stuck in the safe. Guys, we did not destruct <laughs> any property in the making of this. All we did was just open the door by just, you know, shoving it open. What do you say? We're not trying to steal anything again. We're just here documenting. It is funny. Oh, um, so... What, what a mission, boys! Yeah. So there's nothing left. Well, we, we, I haven't checked those two crates yet, but I'm pretty sure that there's no, like, valuable stuff left. See, the hay made me think there was something so Guys, valuable. we got in there too late. Yeah, we did though. To talk Other about explorers. the treasure. What? Well, 100 years ago, I bet you. 50 years ago, 60 is probably when the treasure would have been there. But we do have a ton of stuff left behind, like notes. Oh, and there's some cold in here, boys. <laughs> you can see now, that up there. Uh, I, went, yeah, I went to so climb my camera and the whole unit inside fell. Yeah, check it out. This is actually um, addressed to the madam that lived here and the name of the chateau itself. Wow. wow. So do you know what, it might even be treasure, it might be their family like heirloom stuff they wanted to just keep in here. Could have been that, yeah. All like the documents of the house. And so why are they digging through this wall? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah why are they digging through there? through there? I bet you they did that to see if there's like hidden treasure that was behind it. So they did that just in case. Most likely that's what it was. Well, there's old paintings there, so these probably were... Uh, were oh, really right. This could have been Da Vinci's yeah. paintings, you know, probably, you know, know. seriously. Moisture, we messed it up, yeah. Can we check that crate? We haven't opened that one yet on the bottom. Right, okay. That's true. There could have been some famous, so Good luck, famous <laughs> painter stuff. Oh man, it's so wet, look at that. Yeah. It's yeah. a true Goonies adventure, no? This is it is. Cool. Even if we find nothing. It's the idea that once was. And yeah. you know I mean? It doesn't matter if we were late. It's exactly. still cool as hell. Like, this is, what's that, what's that, sh the show on Netflix, the kids that go, uh, Boys, you ready? Yep. Outer Banks. Outer Banks. This is Outer Banks. Is it? Oh, uh, nothing. What is that? Oh, no, a bag. I think it's just a bag. Pick it up. What's in the bag? Nothing. Empty. Oh. It was wrapped. That was an art piece wrapped. Yeah. We were too late, guys. Yeah. But we made it in. We did. Definitely the Outer Banks, guys. Subscribe if you're new here. If you want to see a bunch I'm of stuff. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to try to get my camera. The unit inside collapsed. And I think, I actually had a feeling inside, I think we're going to get stuck, but I'm going to be determined to get out of here. Proper heist? Yeah, it was. Yeah, no, 100%. Oh, boys, think about these guys here. Probably duck through it. When they duck through it, they noticed they were in here. They were like, oh, yes. God, I didn't realise someone had already come through the roof. Oh. That's like money heist. That's sad. Uh, the Netflix oh, show. They always get beat. For that extreme, going through there, but someone's already come through. 
I, I really wish we could translate some of this stuff. Like, I, I want to know. What is this? I want to know what was said. Just some random stuff. Loads of documents. I don't even think Proof the address. Is this French? What's back here, Dave? Uh, just no, every cover, Duke. Like, oh, well, that goes. Is there anything in that cabin? Nah. So if you translate these, it's sick of September, but I can't see any actual dates on them. A lot of black holes in here. Yeah, we, we shouldn't spend too long here. We're right now. Yeah, we're going to come out because of the mold, guys. We just, we just got into Napoleon Bonaparte. Bang it hard, Dan, you hear that echo in there. Okay. Yeah, but it's so stiff when you're pushing it. Even when you turn that latch. Ready, go on. Watch your finger, bro. No, I'll open it again. <laughs> well, success, boys. Congratulations. Good explore. Oh. It's the old driveway to this place. How long it is? It's probably about like a quarter of a mile driveway straight to your chateau. No, I'd love to restore something like this. So this section here is uh, a little barn. But yeah, it's got like a, a, a tower. Like Napoleon's tower. <laughs> and there's a tractor there. It's the old tractor. And there's a set of old stairs going up inside the tower. Look at this. It's just part of the old tower. So this probably would have been the old staircase. But you can see it's all collapsed. I'm inside the old tower. <laughs> Back out past the old full tractor. I can't believe I was in the tower. So yeah, you can see again the chateau there. But we're gonna head and find the old barns where we've heard there's some really old carriages in, so stay tuned. I'm gonna head there right now, guys. It's an old part of the carriage there. Wait. We're getting there, come on. It's, it's not even like, that's not the carriage, no, it's not carriage. It's super big, you'll see it. Like 1700s, could be anything. Well, this is, this is part of an old bit. So this, this looks like it would have been part of an old farming bit. Good try. Good try. But then, what's in this section here? You know, something's got to be in here and all, over there. So there's another part of the barn. So maybe around the other side. that really could be it. Around the other side. Oh. There, it goes all through there. Hang on. These are like servant quarters. These are well, like, really old. What is it, these? these yeah, are these old? are like your old sack barrows. So the people would carry the veg and... Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. So these would date back, like, Victorian plus. Then they would have been in here, then. Maybe through this way, dude. They might just be right here on the right. Tell me they're there, bro. <gasps> no. Dang. Oh, we've tried. <laughs> bro, they would have been right here. This I've, is where they would have been. I think they've sold them off or done something with them. Yeah. We tried. Good try. Good try. We did try. So, you guys, look at all this wine stored here. Does wine go off? We're talking like a hell of a lot of wine. Do you think these were where the servants were kept? Or a lot of the old servant houses? There's parts of a Renault 5 GT... No way. A GTL? I thought it was GTI. So do you think this is all to that estate?
place is huge. It's another old barn in France. Oh wow. See that one there, they were a fortune the old vans. Yeah. The two cylinder. <laughs> we could probably lift this. <laughs> oh dude, I'd have this. Even though it's in here, I'll bet you anyway it ain't that right either. It's so cheap to get bits for as well. So we finally made it out of the Chateau Alive, and should I say me and Zeph made it out of the Safe Alive. Um, but yeah, what an explore. It's a shame it had a lot of, uh, a lot of vandalism, but it's the history on this place. And uh, yeah, it's probably one of my, again, I agree with the, just with the history, it's one of my favorites of France. But every time you do a new one, it becomes your favorite. So it's really hard to print one, but yeah. I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone who watches AWE and thanks to all the Patreon subscribers. Oh, yeah. uh, please like and subscribe anyway, guys, and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, all social links in description. Love you loads, guys. Stay safe.